Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword Isle of Armor. Here we are in the Isle of Armor. Let's go head back into the dojo now that we have um, successfully found the uh, Max Mushroom. Since last time we caught a bunch of Pokemon and found some Max Mushroom. Seems like a bunch of people are having trouble finding the Max Mushrooms. Hey there, Eric. Welcome back. Looks like you nailed the trial. Congrats on finding the Max Mushrooms. Trial number two was no problem for you. All my other students ended up getting lost in the forest. Turns out finding Max Mushrooms is at least was the least of their problems. It's a shame, but I guess everyone other than Eric will fail the trial. Well, first things first, a proper meal. Let's have the Max Mushrooms made into a delicious Max Soup, shall we? Mm-mm-mm. I've really outdone myself this time. Now, all that's left to add are those lovely Max Mushrooms you've brought us. <gasps> Miss Honey, please wait. Why, Clara? What in the world's gotten into you? I've never seen you in such a flutter. I, I've got some Max Mushrooms, too. Oh, nice work, Clara. You must have searched hard for those. That makes you the second person to pass the second trial. <gasps> I did it! I did it! Ah, chin up, darling, Clara. You did it. This is a cause for celebration. Master, Miss Honey, please, can I ask for something just this once? I want to use my Max Mushrooms in the Max Soup. I really want to share my hard work with everybody here. Oh, Clara. Well, if that's all you're after, then I'm perfectly happy to oblige. Though, this is hardly the first time you've asked for something. I rather doubt it'll be the last. Miss Honey. I hope you don't feel that your thunder's being stolen, Eric, but we're a family here, and family shares, so we'll go ahead and use Clara's mushrooms today. It's just so rare for her to try hard at something. I really wanted to reward that. You understand, don't you? You can hold on to that Max Mushrooms you found. I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll find a good use for them. Oh, and don't worry, you'd still totally pass the trial with flying colors. Think of those Max Mushrooms as an extra reward. Okay. All right, everybody. Soup's on. The famous soup of the Master Dojo. Well, I'm famished. Time to dig in. Let's eat. We enjoyed the Max Soup. Oh, I never did explain the big deal about the soup, did I? You see, when one drinks the Dojo's famous Max Soup, you feel Dynamax energy welling up from inside you. No, you don't. That kind of thing doesn't happen if a human has the soup. But things are a bit different when a certain Pokemon drink the soup. You see, there are some Pokemon that have distinct potential. And when they drink the soup, their Dynamax form will change into a Gigantamax form. I'll keep one of our lads in, in the kitchen on soup duty from now on, too. So you can ask him to serve up a fresh bowl of Max soup whenever you need. Now then, let's wrap things up. You all did your best on the second trial, and I'm proud of everyone here. And last but not least, thanks for the soup, honey. Thanks for the soup, Miss Honey. By the way, Eric, meet me in my room when you have a moment. Oh? What's up? There you are, Eric. Clara, thanks for coming. So, what's this all about, Master? What do you want to tell us? Right. Well, I've decided that you two will now take the Master Dojo's 
final, last, ultimate, third trial. The final, last, ultimate, third trial? What? Uh, so basically this is the last trial? Ah, oh, well, yes. That's the gist of it. You two are the only ones who successfully finished the second trial. You've pushed each other to greater heights and helped each other grow. So I'd say it's time to finally see who is the stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. We're going to battle? That's the last trial? Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. This is it. Finally! But can I... The battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot, so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. I, I've got to get going. I need to go there right away to prepare my pure heart for this. I'm going on ahead, okay? You can laze about like a slowpoke and take as much time as you need. Clara, she's got talent, that's for sure, but it's caused her to slack off. She's never felt the need to try hard at anything, I guess. Even with her training here at the dojo, I can tell she's been doing just the bare minimum. But things have changed since you've arrived. Maybe you've helped awaken some sort of passion and drive in her, eh? Still, I only hope that motivation isn't put forward, uh, isn't put toward anything mischievous. Oh boy. That sounds a bit ominous. Alright. Well. Um, I think our team might be, uh, should be ready for this battle, I would think. Probably more than ready, I would, I would guess. And I just realized something. Literally, other than Scorebunny and Yamps, every single Pokemon on our team, in fact, if you don't even count Yamps, every single Pokemon on our team other than Yamps has a final form that can Gigantamax. <laughs> That's funny. These ingredients are everyone's meals, no nicking food outside of mealtime. Eric, do you want to give your Pokemon Max Soup? Um... You give Max Soup to a Pokemon that has great potential, it'll become a special Dynamax Pokemon, a Gigantamax Pokemon. But if a Gigantamax Pokemon drinks Max Soup, it'll become a Dynamax Pokemon. So there's a book on the shelf. Okay. Pokemon that can drink Max Soup. Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Rillaboom, Cinderace, Inteleon, Butterfree, Pikachu, Meow, Machamp, Gengar, Lapras, Eevee, Snorlax, Garboder, Dreadnought, Corviknight, Toxtricity, Alchemy, Duraludon, Orbeetle, Colossal, uh, Sandaconda, Grim, Snarl, Flapple, Appleton, Hatterene, Copper, Raja, Kingler, and Sentiscorch. Last but not least, the Master Dojo's Secret. Oh, this book is unfinished. I mean, I could give um, Max Soup to uh, one of our teammates so we could actually have a Gigantamax on our team. I could do that. I could make Cream a uh, Gigantamax. Or even, or, or Snap, or Birdie. Calm isn't evolved, and Score Bunny is not evolved, so they couldn't if we wanted them to. I guess we're getting ready for the final challenge. or well, the final uh, trial. Hey, hey, don't just ignore me. Okay. You ready for this? 
you're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor. And then I'll become a poison-type gym leader. Good luck with that. I've got to win no matter what. I'm going to go all out and totally beat you. You ready? Sure, why not? Let's do this. Looks like the two of you are ready. Good luck. I'm cheering for both of you. All right, you two, take your places. All right, let's do this. The Master's Dojo, Master Dojo's final trial. Ready? And go! We're challenged by Pokemon trainer Clara. She's got... Really? This is supposed to be a final trial and you're using an unevolved Pokemon? I'm not holding a single thing back anymore. Time to settle this fair and square. Oh, and maybe watch your step. Looks like some toxic spikes somehow got in the battle court. Seriously? That's messed up. That is so messed up. Alright, I'm blaze kicking. Sorry, my dear Pokemon, I should have given better directions. But hang in there, you've got this. She seriously put pocket spikes on the This is sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> this is sabotage. Alright, next up is a wheezing. Alright. You can steal wing. Yeah, let's do that. No reason to get poisoned if we can avoid it. But wow. Alright, we're steel winging. Let's go. Take that, wheezing. Ooh, you're actually taking it. That is gonna do like no damage to us because we are quite over leveled for this place, clearly. I don't get why they couldn't just make this stuff stronger, but... Okay. Take a drill pack. Alright. And finally, Slowbro. Um... Alright, you know, I'm just gonna stay in. There's no way I'm losing. I ain't letting go until the bitter end. <laughs> Glaring slow bro looks so funny. Alright. Um... I'm gonna U-turn. She's Dynamaxing, right? Watch out, audience. One dose of fire is poison, and there's no turning back. Poison type. Going to snap. Bring a poison, but that's not the end of the world. Alright. That we're gonna take neutral damage to. It's it's a max move. Not a Z move, so. 
We can take it. Alright. I'll see how you like this earthquake. <laughs> not very much, do ya? I'm not even Dynamaxing. Honestly, we're so overleveled, Dynamaxing just seems wrong. And Yamp screwed a level 100. So we defeated Trainer Clara. But I didn't hold back. I gave it everything I've got. Alright, we got 16,000 bucks. And Yamp's for the final time. You don't need to evolve. You're a level 100. <laughs> level 100 puppy. The victor has been decided. The one to complete the third trial is you, Eric. Hooray! That was amazing! What a fierce battle! Oh, well done. You both gave it your all. Oh man, I totally lost. <laughs> well, this stinks. I do everything, even cheat a little, and still lose. I don't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but I really was trying, you know? As hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to just give up on my dream of being a gym leader. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo anyway. Eric, you can tell the master that I cheated. Nah. Eh. Huh? Why? It wasn't supposed to be a fair battle. It was supposed to be a fair battle, and I cheated just so I could win. Yeah, but you lost anyway. That's your strength, Eric. Kindness toward both you and your Pokemon and your rivals. Master! I should apologize on Clara's behalf, too, as her master. What she did was wrong, but she didn't want to be beaten by her rival, that's all. She's a good, hard-working student. <sighs> master, thank you. I'm sorry, Eric. As for your punishment, Clara, you're going to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. What? I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course. Let's work on strengthening your heart. Oh, okay. Alright, everyone. Things are settled here. I'm so proud of you both. You mustered so much effort and tried so hard. I get, I, I get so teared up that I couldn't even see half the battle. But what I, what I saw was amazing. So moving. I'm tearing up. Eric, you gave it your best and triumphed, even when faced with an unfair challenge. To you who has completed all the trials, I grant the secret armor of the Master Dojo. I'll take some time to prepare, so I'll go ahead and get things sorted. And that's all, gang. As you were. Eric. Um, I... Well... We got Claire's lead card. You're really strong. That's it. Well, might as well read her lead card. Power number 881. Clara was originally an underground pop singer. She promoted herself as a star that had both cuteness and virulence of poison. She energetically held live concerts and other events even selling some Clara-themed collectibles that she made herself. But in spite of everything, she only managed to sell eight copies of her debut album, Crazy for Clara. She decided becoming a gym leader would help her gain more popularity, and she began working toward the, that goal, but, and she began working toward that goal since. She chose the poison plate because it matched her image, and there was less competition. Fair enough. I wouldn't compete for the uh, title of Poison Gym Leader, I suppose, so... Props to her! If 
Ah, oh, there you are. Keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Okay. Now then, come on out! Oh, So cute! Is it scared of us? <laughs> it's so cute. Bear? This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Kupfu. I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence, and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, Eric, maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take good care, Cub Fu, okay? It's in your hands now. Okay. Cub Fu became our Pokemon. So, Cub Fu trains hard to perfect its moves. The moves it masters will determine which form it takes when it evolves. Alright, what can we name you? Uh, let's name you... Uh, on... Nah, let's go. What am I doing? <gasps> Oops. Didn't mean to do that. What's your nature? Are you kidding me? You gotta be mild. You had to be mild. You have inner focus, that's pretty cool. Rock smash, leer, endure, and focus. <laughs> it was rock smash. <laughs> alright, alright. We're adding you to the party, I guess. So who do we drop? I don't want to drop anyone. <laughs> um... Unfortunately, we're gonna have to drop someone. Although, we only have two special attackers and four physical attackers. Obviously, Cub Fu is a physical attacker, but these two literally fill the same niche. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to drop one of our uh, special attackers. And, Calm, I'm sorry. Calm, I love you. You're an important member of the team, but you're gonna have to sit this one out. Alright, Calm has Neverstone. Um, let's just put it in the bag. Hope we'll be added to our party. Now then, the first thing for you to do is to become the best friends with Cub Fu. You need to build trust. Cub Fu really had a chance to explore the world outside, hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so maybe it'll help you to become better friends if you let it have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so just keep an eye out. And of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here on the Isle of Armor. What? Pokemon get to walk with us? That is amazing. You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go and take a stroll with Cubfu, why don't you? 
once your best buddies will start Cub Foods training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you're ready. Alright, well, they're only level 10, though. You know what? I I have an idea. We can just give you some, uh, why don't we just give you some experience candy? Let's give you, like, 30 of these. 900,000 experience. I guess you're gonna level 89, just straight up. Alright, Aerial Ace. Sure. Let's drop. We really need Endure. Scary face, I'll pass. Headbutt. Sure. Honestly, I'd rather have Litter than Focus Energy. Brick Break. Oh, that's better than Rock Smash. Although, Rock Smash is still better than Leer. Attack. I'll oh, hold off on that. Bulk up. Yeah, I'd rather have that than Rock Smash. Iron Head. Well, that sounds... Probably better than Aerial Ace. Although, do I really need Headbutt if I have Iron Head? Because at least Aerial Ace is coverage for fighting types. Dynamic Punch. Too risky, I think. Counter. I'll pass. Cl CC. That's something to think about. You know what? <laughs> Makes you a glass cannon, but I like it more than Ariel East for you, I think. I'm not a huge man of Focus Punch. Alright, let's get you to an even 90. So, there we go! We got it from level 10 to level 90. I, I, I think Cub Fu is ready to do some battling, I'm thinking. You're not all that fast, but that is amazing. All right, who else can we have walking with us? Let's, play, let's give Cream a chance. Green, what's wrong? Huh. Cream is literally not following us. Weird. Alright, Cub Fu, you wanna follow us? Not really walking all that fast, but... Uh, 
Okay. Oh, you know what? Buffalant, let's do this. Let's go. We're gonna CC you. Alright, Cubfu, let's go. Let's go. Now that is power. That is some power. Alright, what exactly is the special training that uh, Muster had in mind? I'm gonna send me someone. No, but who would gather that many? Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, Eric, just the person I wanted to see. Tell me, do you collect lots? Sure. Of course you do. You're such a pro at all of this, Eric. I'll have you know that the, the lot business is positively booming right now around here. They say that those who hold the most lots hold the key to success. I've actually been trying to gather up lots and spruce up the dojo a bit. Get some more gear. But both my uh, darling hubby and my son are more the indoor types, you know? And it's pretty hard for me to collect that many lots all on my own. If you ever happen to have some lots to spare, Eric, I'd be glad to take them. Oh, but I wouldn't ask you to give them for, no for nothing in return. This would be a business transaction, of course. I'll reward you for your generosity. You know, if you have some extra lots, simply come and talk to me. Okay. Um... Share some watts. What do you want 10,000 watts for? 10,000 watts. Over 5,000, she can afford to have a hairstylist come work with the dojo too. Hello? Hello? Is this the hair salon? I guess this is Honey from Master Dojo. I was wondering if you could spare a stylist to come enjoy the lovely island life with us. Yes, that's right, the Isle of Armor. Mm-hmm. They're sending someone right over. Hello, Dojo. It's lovely to meet you all. I'm the new hairstylist, but I can't bear all the secret arts of hairstyling with you, um, to you all. When you'd like to have something done, please call on me in this room here. No cameras allowed. And no speaking of what you see inside the room. Now, that's a real pro. True masters are always picky about their craft. <laughs> But now we can always look our best, even out here in the wilds. And since we've gathered over 10,000 watts, I can order a road to my uh, terminal for the dojo. Hello, hello, is this the Pokemon Center? This is Honey from the Master Dojo. I'd like to buy one of your road to my terminals for some uh, watts. What do you say? Mm hmm. That's right. We were, we were able to make a deal. And I got them to send it right over at once. So we got a PC, I guess. So, hmm, this doesn't look quite right. There's something written on the screen here. Now let me see. Thank you for your purchase. To get your new road to my up and running, you must first install our proprietary software. To order your copy today, contact our sales department at... What? They're simply trying to gouge us for more watts? Of all the greedy, conniving business practices. I'm awfully sorry about this, Eric, but it looks like we'll need a bit more of your help to get our resume up and running. Wow. All it would take is an easily 500 watts to get the Cramomatic up and running, you know? Oh, I can give you that. Whoa, seriously? You give me 500 watts? It took take me ages um, outdoors to collect 500 watts, and the outdoors in me. Well, let's just say our systems aren't compatible. But you, sorry, what was your name again? Eric? I guess you're more the outdoors type, huh? I'll feed those watts you gave me into the Grammomatic at once. And power on. Cram. <laughs> perfect, just perfect. Put in four items you don't need, and you'll get one new item in exchange. If you put in four of the apricorns that grow here in the Isle of Armor, you might even get a rare Pokeball if you're real lucky. Since you gave me the watts and all, feel free to use my Cramomatic as much as you like. Okay, so Cramomatic, we can combine items. Items we want to combine. 
Um, what do we not need? Oh, it only lets us put in... Well, sure, let's put in... A pearl. An extra small experience candy. Uh, I don't really like giving up items like this, so... Put in... Clever Feather. And let's say a Health Feather. Alright. You have to save real quick to start the process. Okay, sure. Combination process complete. And we get a jar of sea incense. You know what? That is the perfect item for me to get. I mean, we already have one, but still. It is one of my favorite items because... If you can't figure out why it's my favorite, why it's one of my favorite items, I can't really help you. Um, but like I said, we already have a few of them. <laughs> but Azuril is my favorite Pokemon, so yeah. Alright, let's give you some watts. 50,000 watts. Here's 10,000. All right. Hello, this is the Pokemon Center. Honey from the Master Dojo. Yes, again. Fancy that. We ordered a road to my from you a little while ago. Yes, it does look lovely, but we'd, we'd pr rather prefer it to actually work, too. Mm-hmm. Could you send someone right over? Now that's taken care of, let's fire it up. These the great gems, honey. Road to my at your service. And I, I am delighted to hear it. I'm sure you'll be worth every last watt you've cost us. In fact, we'll make sure of it. Our road to my is up and running thanks to your watts, Eric. So be sure to use a plenty. Um. Okay, so we can heal in here. That's nice. Um, we can also change our outfit and hair and makeup. Okay. Alright, let's put you here since you're, you know, a team uh, well, a team member. Okay. Lotto ID. Ah. Try it another time. What's this? What's this? Let's see how you and Cuffo are getting along. Just started to becoming friends. How wonderful. Don't forget, playing together while camping is a great way to build camaraderie. Put some little markers in your town map for where the view of the Isle of Armor is just gorgeous. You and Cuffo should go and enjoy the scenery. Once you two are the best of friends, we'll start with Cuffo's proper training. All right. I guess we gotta do more training with Cub Fu. Alright. Well, let's do this then. Watcher, I'm your watch trader. You wanna get something? So I guess they really double down on the watts in this area. In the wild of armor, that is. Berries, I got your fresh picked berries. What do you say? Interested in some? You sell them for money. Eh? Money? Got some. Um. Might as well buy some stuff for camping, I guess. Brittle bones. Uh, fresh cream, okay. I'm uh, not getting mushrooms because 
I am creeped out by mushrooms. And sausages, that's disgusting. Um, and yeah. I'm just gonna stick to the vegetarian stuff, I think. Where did Kubfu go? Ah, there's Kubfu. So, I'm um, guessing we're gonna... Probably have to do some training and camping and whatnot. So, he said he labeled on the map places to go. Brawler's Cave. Hot Bottom Desert. You know what? We can fly right near there, so... Let's do this. Of course we're running right into the sand trail. Because I wouldn't run right into a sand trail. Alright, Cub Phil. No need to attack a sand trail. That's a poor helpless defense. Uh, well, poor uh, well, defenseless sand trail comparatively. Alright, is this where. We want to go? Alright, we got a max ether. Another Rhyperior. Okay, Club Foo. You know what? Let's pitch a camp here. So you want to get the ball? You don't want the ball? Oh, you did get the ball. Nothing needs to play a lot. All right. Okay. Okay. Clearly, you don't like that ball. Worried right about surroundings. Scared of cream? Why could you be? Why would you be scared of cream? All right. Um. Let's try cooking. Okay, let's use fancy apple. Let's use two raspberries. Kelp, and let's go two kelpsy berries and a qualop berry. All right, let's do this. And let's go. All right, fan the flames. Sounds only a bit ominous.
All right, stir it. We are stirring it. Okay. Put your heart into it. Okay. And we're done. Bitter apple curry. Okay. Now oh, that's a happy cub foo. All right. Milsery class uh, ribbon or whatever. Okay, cool. Alright, you don't want the ball? Alright, let's try one- let's do one more. Let's cook one more thing. Let's use... It's a large leak. Uh, let's use... Rostberry. Two Kelty Berries. Tomato berry, Anju berry, and let's leave it at that. Let's start cooking. All right, we're throwing the leek in there, and let's let's do this. So we gotta fan these flames. Fair enough. Stir in the pot, okay. We a master chef yet? Gotta put our heart into it and there we go. We got ourselves some curry, I guess. Okay. Leek curry. Okay. me. Alright, let's take down the tent. Getting some experience. Fair enough. So are we supposed to build friendship with, with it? Oh, uh, Chansey, I am so sorry this is about to happen to you. You are about to get bodied. I'm sorry it has to be this way, but you're not going to appreciate this brick break. <laughs> there's no way you're going to appreciate that. Not sure why there's a Chansey in the desert, though. Alright, birdie gained a level. Got a wishing piece. I will take that. Uh huh. Well then. Hey there. You've got to see the view from here. Come on. What do you and Kupfu enjoy the scenery together? Alright, let's enjoy the scenery.
All right, I'm guessing we have to actually see all the spots then. So you and Kupfu are now the best of friends. Master Mustard should be really happy to see how well you get along. Being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? All right, so I guess we don't have to see every one of those spots. We just have to uh, see the one. Oracle, interesting. Nothing really new, but interesting. All right. You want to do... For seven Armorite pieces. I don't have seven to give you. Sorry. I guess that brings us back here. Honeycomb C. Okay. Bag of Stardust, and that looks like a Diglett. Alright. Two more Diglett here. Well, this shouldn't be the hardest place to find a Diglett, considering. Mayan Shao, interesting. I need Calm Island. And I just ran into a Lilligan. Because of course I ran into a Lilligan. Alright. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. And we are just gonna run. I need to use a wishing piece. I feel like there's a there's a dig like here I just didn't see. Huh. Well then. That's a Whalmer we just passed. Insular C. Two Diglett. Alright. And a Doug Trio. Doug Trio returned to the trainer, so we need to find three more Diglett. Interesting. Well, that was, uh, that was something. Now we're being attacked by a shark. Alright, if it wasn't for the recoil, I would definitely CC this thing. Not the recoil, for the rough skin. I don't feel like messing around with rough skin, to be honest. Alright. Chansey Raid. That's probably not the hardest raid. I can't imagine. Executor, interesting. Alright, you got another Diglett. Galarica Twig. Twig from the species of tree called Galarica that grows in certain areas in the Galar region. Hmm. Interesting. Serious mint. So we can find mints in the wild? That is convenient. Although, serious mint seems like a seems like an unnecessary uh, mint if I were to pick one. I would like more uh, 
timid, jolly, adamant, and modest. Alright, Squovet. Squovet, you're not gonna like this. You're really not gonna like this, but we're gonna brick break you. Sorry! Try a little squall of it. Alright, we lost everything because all there was there was palm egg. Okay. Looks kinda like Lilligan, but I can't really tell. I feel like this is where we're coming from. Horsey! Okay. You know what? Why don't we just catch this thing and call it a day? Critical capture! Alright. We gotcha. Okay. Horsey makes its home in oceans with gentle currents. If this Pokemon's under attack, it spits out pitch black ink and escapes. Alright. So, let's call you... Ink. Alright. On that note, yeah, let's head back to back to mustard. All right, let's go. Healing up. Thank you, Conley. One day I'd like to be as strong like you. Alright, you know what? Maybe we'll talk to Mustard about all this next time, perhaps. So, as for today, I guess we'll call it a day now that we have Become best friends with our cub foo. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time when we speak to Mustard about what to do next now that we are friends with our cub foo. Goodbye. <laughs>